Barrel The sun's gone past the yard and I'm so cheersy everybody and uh, time for another fable from Fartwell. Well, what have we got for you today? We've got a rocking chair. Yes, John F. Kennedy, President of the United States, used to sit in a rocking chair because of his old war wound. Yes, yeah, saw his old war wound out. And so we've got this rocking chair because Beastie Bill the butler, he's got a bad back. Yes, he's got a bad back, you see. And uh, when Lady Fartwell... Lady Fartwell found out he had a bad back. She she said, Bill, that's his name, Bill the butler, Bill, we've got to get you a rocking chair. Yes, because he, he wasn't moving very well, you see. When he when Lady Fartwell had her um had her evening meal and uh, she wanted feeding, um, you know, when Bill came round with the sausage, he couldn't give it to her. So um so she said, Well, we've got to sort that out and um and give you a um and get you a, a rocking chair. So she ordered this rocking chair off the old interweb and um, unfortunately she's got me to put it together so I thought I'd do a video and show you how to put it together okay so came in this box um, you know, all very well she uh, ordered it yesterday and it came straight away so that's all good I'll put a picture up um, of, of where it was ordered from and everything so you can have a look and um, I'm gonna get on and opening open the box and uh, and, and, and see what's going on inside. Okay, cheers. Right, we've got a we've got a knife to open the box. We've got a knife. Watch out, very sharp. Always always cut away from you or cut towards your mate, yes. So uh, now we better get it get rid of the old uh, get rid of the pink chin. Hang on. Oh, right, let's open the box up. Yes. Right, so we sort of got the, the end of the box open. Let's see what we've got. Right, so we've got a bit like this. Oh, there we go. We've also got a, we've got a couple of bits like this, two of these. Right there, I don't know if you can see those. Go over there. We've got, uh, we've got some fixings on the end of there. And a bit of wood. We've got some cushions. And we've got another one of those. And hopefully we've got some instructions somewhere. Yes, I'll just find the instructions. Right, the instructions, it looks like they're in with the uh, with the with the cushions. So uh, there's a tip for you. If you're looking for the instructions, here they are. Right. Okay. Right, 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 right. Right. Right, what we're gonna do first, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna connect the metal together. Yes. Right, that's the um there's the fixings. They give you an Allen key, so you don't need to worry about that. So the first off you get these little tiny screws, the little small ones, and you put them in the you join the metal together with them. So let's do that first. I don't think it doesn't show any washers. So uh, we just put that in there. Now this is not obviously the uh, same sort of wash, uh, rocking chair that um, John F. Kennedy used to used to use, but apparently the um, I did a bit of research and the company that does um, that uh, that makes uh, the rocking chairs that John F. Kennedy made um, still makes them. So if you want to buy a John F. Kennedy rocking chair, then uh, then the company the company still still exists. So where's the other screw gone? Right, here it is. So on the on the on the on the ends here, you can't see it, but there's a couple of arrows pointing in the right same direction. So so it lets you know that you've uh, you've got your um, your metal frame all in the right direction. So that's rather handy. Don't get the um, screws cross threaded, otherwise it won't be very good. Right, so there you have it. You see? There we go. So we've got that bit sorted. Right, what's next then? Looks like we've got to put the uh, put the cover on. What do we do with the cover? Right, here's the cover. Right, so you've got a you've got a zip here. You've got a zip to, to undo. Like so. And then oh, we've got a 
You've got another zip inside of that zip. It's a bit, bit strange. There we go. Now, I don't know if we undo that zip or not. Do we undo two zips or one zip? Right, we're going to go with one zip. We're going to go with the one zip. Right, and then you've got the um, the head end. Right, hang on. Right, now the head the head is the opposite to the the end that wiggles. You see, this end wiggles. This is where the feet go, and so the other end is the head. And um, what you want to do is have the fit. There's another zip on this bit, and the zip end goes to the head. Okay, I think. I think yeah. so that goes on there. Right there. goes on there and then we do the zip Should have something looking like this yes right now what to do next you get your you get your bits of wood yeah your, your rocky bits of wood like that get your your other bit of wood they supply oh and there's some there's some bits of dowel right and uh, I think what you do you poke your dowel Two bits in each end. So that's one either side and not in the center. Don't put any down in the center, they're just either side. And then you can go back to your fixings and you get these funny these funny fixings with like a, a round a round nut on them. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know. But um you obviously take the um, take the round nut off the end of the screw, and you poke it. You poke one of the round nuts. You poke your round nut into your hole. Yes, like so. And obviously, I think, yeah, okay. And then you poke the other one into the other hole. All right. And then you get your bit like this. And you get your, your bit there, and you'll see you've got three holes on the edge of this. So obviously that fits in there, like so. Okay, my, my round nut's just fallen out. Put the round nut back in. And you poke your screw through the hole there, and do it up, you see. Like so. And then you get your other. Your other rocker, the same. That lines up on that side, like that. See? Obviously, I'll put my round nuts so you can't see them, because you don't want your round nuts to the front. Now you don't want anyone to see your round nuts. So you poke it in there, and then poke, poke your screw through the side. The round nuts just fallen out again. Right, what do we do next? We, uh, well, it looks like we join these to the frame. Yes, that's what we do. Using, using the, uh, let's see how many screws are there? There's a few, four of these, um, these other screws. So let's um, get on and do that now. But here is the foot bit, and this is the, obviously the armrest. So we we'll put it round the right way. Then you've got 
two holes, two holes in the side here, and there's two holes in the timber. So obviously we have to line them up. Line them up, yes. So just get it a bit, bit lined up. Don't, don't tighten them right up to start with. Right. Just get them in the, get them in the holes. If you can find the hole. So tightening them up now. Get that one tightened up. Better put it on inside. Yes, seems to work better. There's a tip for you. two screws got the two screws in this side there and we're down there so we're going to put the put the two in the other side right and then you've got two screws left you've got two screws left to go in the, the other end of the chair Maybe loosen off the other, loosen these off a little bit. Might just give us a bit more play. Just give them a bit more play. Get the, get the other screw in. Right, so we've loosened them off again. There we go. And then I've got to line this up. Maybe undo this one as well, the one with the, the round nut on it. Just loosen that one off as well. There we go. Hopefully that will give us enough enough movement to slide this one into place. The only thing is, if you do want to wash this cover, you've actually got to take the whole thing apart. So, um, but you can actually unzip it and wash it. It looks like. So uh, it's a good thing. But uh, you obviously, if you if you actually have one of these chairs, you'd actually. Uh, if you were washing it quite often then um, you'd probably be an expert in building these chairs Slightly better than what I am anyway right. right so we're doing doing all the nuts up on one side you know, that's one side done that's one side done now let's just turn over it right just get, get it turn over get it turn over Baron right and then we've got the last one to go in on the on the point. So what we're going to do is obviously loosen these off as well, because we didn't. Otherwise, we won't be able to line them up. So we loosen that one off and loosen loosen that one off as well. Hopefully, that will be enough actually to so get this one in. Line it up. Yeah, that's got a. Right, so there we are, I think that's it. I think that's it there. Right, there we go. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Well, oh, magic stuff, hey, look at that. Now, I just put this on the ground. We'll have a look, see if it actually, um, I'll sit in it before Beastie Bill the butler has it. And um, we'll see, um, see if how much fun it is, yes. There we go. So cheers everybody, and the moral of that story is, uh, if you've got a bad back, then don't worry about it, because uh, you can always buy yourself a rocking chair, so cheers and toodaloo for now, cheers. <laughs>